Hey folks and welcome to Car Stars' 10 Cool Facts About Frank's 69 GTO in the 2004 movie, The Punisher. Fact number one. There were five different cars used to portray the 1969 Pontiac GTO hardtop throughout the film. Three were actual 242 code GTOs and two were just basic Le Mans models modified to look like GTOs. Four of those cars were converted into stunt cars with each being set up specifically for the particular stunt that it was going to perform. One of the five cars was a mostly gutted out parts 68 GTO with no engine or transmission that they just used for the short Frank car customization sequence only. Fact number two. All the converted to stunt cars were outfitted with new aftermarket Richmond positive traction units, rally two wheels, Goodyear tires, and Edelbrock intake manifolds and carburetors. Year One supplied all of these aftermarket parts, which is why they were allowed to have their logo on the front license plate of the cars for advertisement purposes. Fact number three. All stunt cars had interior customizations, including the installation of a roll cage, custom-made dashboards, remetalled floor pans, electronic special effects hardware, and telescoping aluminum shields. Fact number four. One of the 69 GTOs is powered by its original 400 CI V8 engine and has the factory 4-speed manual transmission option. This was the car used in the close-up burnout by the bridge scene and was probably considered the most famous GTO from the movie. Fact number five. This other stunt 400 CI power GTO had a heavy-duty manual 3-speed transmission taken from a pickup truck and installed in place of the original 4-speed. This was the GTO used for the aggressive driving near Frank's apartment and pulling down his tombstone scenes. Fact number six. One of the two converted Le Mans to GTO cars was used for the crash into the oncoming car rollover stunt. Le Mans was damaged so badly that they ended up stripping it out and then scrapping the rest of the car. Fact number seven. The other converted to Le Mans GTO was the one they used for the bridge jump scene. Despite the car being set up for the jump with upgraded suspension components, a full roll bar, and welded in angle iron throughout the chassis for reinforcement, the front end of the car still collapsed upon landing, smashing in the engine cradle. The car was left unrepaired after filming and was eventually sold on eBay. Fact number eight. Fortunately, all of the real 242 code GTOs were just used for the minor aggressive driving type stunts and close-ups, so they survived filming with no major damages. The authentic GTOs were kept by Lionsgate Films for some time before they were eventually resold to the public. Fact number nine. The three-speed manual 69 GTO showed up at a Mechum auction in 2011 and sold for just $13,000. It was then displayed in a museum for a few years and was later auctioned again directly from that same museum in 2018, where it was purchased by Philip Schiffer. Fact number 10. The most well-known four-speed manual transmission 69 GTO was sold in 2012 at the Barrett Jackson Auction House. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.